idea in 2019 evolved into a project of significant scope and range. This exhibition can be viewed as a conflux of different worlds and realities and timelines, almost like morphing or being superimposed. I do not think that we as students back then would ever have imagined that this inclusive exhibition would hold so much historical significance in its storytelling. The project also holds value for the University of Pretoria as a lasting legacy of its art alumni and also perhaps on a broader scale for visual culture in general as a lasting footprint in the forming of a new art history. I graduated with the first of my two degrees in 1989. The same year the Berlin Wall started falling in Germany, uh, one of my ancestral countries. In 1990, I took a gap year in Germany and while being there, I received news that Nelson Mandela would be freed back home here in South Africa. I would also at the time not forget the one-off concert that I attended Roger Waters' Pink Floyd The Wall on Potsdamer Platz which made an amazingly big impression on me as an, as an artwork. I believe that when walls are broken down, those bricks could be used to build new bridges. This has become central to my thinking. My studies did not just teach me art, but it taught me resilience and discipline. Yes, that thought of never, of never give up, no matter the circumstances or the situation. Working through the nights for those credit deadlines prepared me for the work I'm doing today, especially when I take on urgent and huge projects. Mm -hmm.